my friends and welcome back to the room benches this way uh, just a quick video here uh, I got a lot of questions on little things I figured maybe I'll put together a video a quick take we'll call this a quick take video how's that uh, maybe I got a few more to come because I'm gonna show you a paint that I'm working on and I figured I'd show you that in the camera instead of it quickly at the end uh, of a video I also want to make uh, a quick announcement back in stock the Swallowtail Barbatos Rex airbrush. Uh, she is back in stock finally. And, uh, and there's also another restocking in I think a week or two. So we're gonna be more steady in keeping these things in stock. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, order one now. They should be there. Uh, they've been in stock since the beginning of the week. But also, the fan cap is finally back in. They sold out right away, the first batch. This is literally the second batch since I've launched this airbrush a couple months ago. Um, so go ahead and pick up the uh, fan cap if you want that too. Um, they are in. So uh, yeah, I <laughs> I can't believe how popular these turned out to be. It was a last minute addition when I uh, called the company and says, let's go with a, a fan cap uh, option and it turned out to be a winner. So this is also in stock. So uh, don't forget, if you want one, order them both at the same time. They ship really fast, so you will not have to wait. Also, uh, a couple of kits came in. Not that this has anything to do with the video. I'm ordering a lot of these off-brand or Chinese or Taiwan kits because they're quite unique. And um, they're not quite what they look like they're knocking off. This looks like it should be a Freedom. But uh, it's, a, it's a bit different. I like some of the options to this beautiful box. Um, that's all there is. See, there's nothing on the back. It's got this type of opening. Oh, hold on. Look at this. Clear green parts. Oh, here's the book. It's tiny. Well, it's thick, but it's a tiny book. I don't even know who makes this thing. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you're interested in this, I, I, I'll look up where I got it. I order so much stuff, I forget where it comes from. So I'll, I'll look this up. If anybody's interested, uh, drop me a, a comment below. And uh, I will let you know. Let me show you this other kit before we move on. Actually, this Iron Man just came in. Isn't that great? He's all white. Well, white and gray, carbon fiber. I can take it out of the package. Oh, there he is. You can see him there. I think that's a pretty nice little uh, figure. I like to put stuff that can take a beating for the desk because I might end up moving stuff around. If I put a model on there, I end up falling apart. So I end up getting little things like this to sprinkle to make the desk interesting throughout the year, you know? Let's make a look. But look at this kit. This kit came in. <laughs> It came in with, this is it, this UPC code, there's nothing. I mean, I had to open up to remember what the hell this thing is that I ordered. And, uh, again, looks like another knockoff, but always slightly different, you know? Beautiful book, though. This is a thick book. Oh, here we go, here we go. Try to see over the camera there. How's that? Isn't that great? Again, looks like another Freedom, right? Well, a little bit different in the backpack, that's for sure. But a beautiful kit. Uh, you know, we'll have to see how it goes together, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this just showed up recently. But I just thought it was funny. That this is the box that it came in. <laughs> Can't get in trouble, I guess, if they put these on the shelves. If it's a knockoff. It's a knockoff of what? There's, a, there's an empty box, totally. All right. Um... We're going to spin this camera around, we're going to go over the bench, we're going to go over a couple things. We're going to show the glasses that I use. That was the reason um, for starting this video. But I'm going to show you my new paint that I'm working on also and a couple other products that just came in. So let me spin this around and we'll meet you at the bench. Whoa, here we are. The bench. Spun around. I got a new uh, black surface here. Looking good. And you can see some of the products. I should have did a tips and tools video, but uh, it's a little more than that. And um, so I, I figured I'd throw it all in one we'll call it a quick take and uh, but these are the glasses that I use now what I did was um, this is from the dollar store so this is a buck and a quarter I guess a dollar 25 dollar tree and that's a we call it a pencil holder all right you can see the one I use here and that's it I get these there these are also a buck 25 and they last a long time because I just keep them at the bench and uh, my good ones are blue blockers these are the ones I use but there's very very rare to find blue blockers that are also magnifying reading glasses and uh, that's what these are these are these are a plus three uh hold on 
I got all different sizes. I think I'm wearing the plus ones now. Yeah. And uh, I only bought these because they were marked down like 8 bucks from 30 They were at uh, Staples. Big rack of them, all marked down to like 30 bucks, They were like 75% off or something. So, Gray Matter, G-R-Y. So, uh, yeah, that is the one I use when I'm reading and whatnot because of the blue blocking. But uh, when I'm building a kit, I go with three sizes. I go with a one, a one and a half magnification, a two magnification, or a three. Three when I do panel lining and I'm trimming apart. Um, the nubs off and whatnot, and uh, for general, when you see me working at the bench, talking to you guys, it's always a one, even sometimes a two. But uh, what I did was I bought one of these. I just this one the other day, just to show you guys. I grabbed another one, and uh, what I did was I just got these numbers on a sticker sheet. I think it was at Walmart. Might have been also been at the dollar store. And I just put in one, two, three. So now off to the side of my desk, if I need a two, if I'm working on a, um, like I said, if I'm trimming a piece or I'm panel lining. I'll reach for the three. And that's it. I keep them right there. Those are the three sizes that I use. There's no need to go in and buy these magnifying and these these uh, loops or the the one they the big visor with the magnifying glass. That drove me nuts. I left a mark on my forehead. And uh I said I'm just gonna go with these reading glasses. Bought a whole bunch of them for uh for a buck and a quarter. You just can't go wrong. Here's your magnification uh right there. And uh yeah, that's it. I mean you can't go wrong. This whole thing is uh, three bucks, four. This is five bucks for everything, including the holder. So that's what I use. Um, and somebody asked me about that, and I told them not to go with them visors, to go with these. And that's why I went ahead and shot this video. Actually, is, is you know I did a, put these on camera. And I also use these for oh improvising here. I keep my paint stirrers in it, right? Different size paint stirrers. As a matter of fact, I'm getting low. I got to put more in there. When you see me reach for a paint stirrer, this is where I'm getting them from. And then the other one has all my knives in it, like this. This is a box cutter. So the other one has all the box cutters in it. And you can put markers or paint markers. They're really good. For a, for a buck, these little things are just awesome. They're, they're just such an asset for the bench. And um, so that is that. Now, another thing that just showed up that I really like is these Kimtech Science Wipes. These are awesome. Uh, delicate tasks. What They're anti-static and non-lint come up just like a, a, a Kleenex would and if you're cleaning something off or if you even rubbing before a, a kit they're anti-static they're really awesome um, but no lint so if you're going to let me grab my Barbatos Rex airbrush um, if you're gonna clean the airbrush particularly in the cup and whatnot non lint there's no nothing comes off these and they're really really good to have for uh, for this reason it's the reason why I searched them out but uh, Again, I will put a link below to these, and um, it's yeah, it's Kimtech Science brand delicate task wipes, and uh, there's 286 in there. These last a while, and um, good to have. Anything like this is good to have on the bench. These just came in. These are non-metallic metal. I don't know how this is going to look. It's turquoise, sepia, heavy brown, heavy gold brown. This is from Vallejo. But I don't know. These just look like regular paint, you know? So I don't know, you know, non-metallic metal. I mean, it shows what it would look like there. So I am going to paint these on. I just think it's regular paint. And it's a marketing scheme that uh, they stuck non-metallic metal. And uh, dead white. I mean, what's for the silver? Cold gray? So I guess in your mind, if you're painting a mecca, your mind's telling you that it's metal. Matter of fact, it's just cold gray and night blue. Uh, this he heavy gold brown, is that over here? Let's see. Yeah, heavy gold brown. That's supposed to be gold? I, I don't know. I don't see it happening. But I bit, I took the bait and uh, grabbed it. So uh, we'll see what those end up looking like. I don't, I don't think much, to tell you the truth. Uh, this just came in. This is from Gun Primer, right? Yeah, Gun Primer. Hold on. Come on now. There we go. This is a dust brush. I love these little dust brushes. I got a few of them. I keep a couple near the uh, near the booth. So let's open this up and see what we got. First time I'm looking at it. Obviously, I just popped it open. This is a large size. They had two sizes. Actually, I think I own the small one. But uh, I like this larger size. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Hold on a second. The uh, protecting has to go off in reverse. There we go. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. And it's shaped pretty good. So you can really, uh, yeah, let me a hand here, Hawks. See how, if you want to get in here. Yeah, that, that. Look at that. So, yeah, this is a really good addition to have on the bench. A dust brush. I have a few of these, but something to collect them because they, they become more important than, uh, than you think. This and a nice uh, air duster, that rechargeable one that I use, really come in handy. So, yeah, see, now I can get in here and just get all the dust out. And before I go to paint a kit, uh, I like to hit it with the dust brush. A lot of times I end up using, oops, there goes my airbrush. A lot of times I end up using uh, this anti-static brush from Tamiya. And its purpose is for anti-static. So I don't know if this gun primer one is. i got to read a little more documentation on it to see if that's what it's for. But uh, put the cap on this way in reverse. There we go. Now, the Tamiya one also has a little uh, finer detail to get into more crevices. And that's pretty cool. It's like a little hidden hidden feature there. But this one, yeah, I'm going to have to see if it's anti-static or not. But it is, it is pretty nice. Yeah, that just showed up literally uh, a day or two ago. All right. Um, I think that's all before I show you the paint. Oh, I use these. Let me show you these. These are at the dollar store. I grabbed them. They were out for a while. But I like to use these as I'm painting candy colors or clears to see what I'm what effect I'm going to get you know, over a chrome. So these are already chrome, so I don't have to go ahead and spray, you know, all clad or, or a chrome down. These are already for me so I can just go ahead and make it quick because I test so much. You guys obviously know that. Um, I'll reach it behind me. So see it. So now if I want to see what this is going to look like, I go ahead and just try it on this first. This was uh, for a Patreon and they wanted to know what uh, uh, spaz stick chrome on top of my 2K black and then on top of the chrome this is all clad aqua gloss. Hold on. Shoot by the hip here. Aqua gloss on top of the chrome. And then on top of that, I shot the these uh, Tamiya clairs. It's clear green, clear red. Absolutely stunning. It worked beautiful. This was the final coat. And uh, the Tamiya paints are really durable. So. That was the final coat. But again, on top of this, you can put another clear if you want. Probably my 2K gloss, and you really have something really durable. But that's what my Patreon channel is for. People ask questions, and um, I'll uh, either answer them in texting or uh, I'll do it on video, and that's what this was. My next one actually coming up is all clad candy uh, over black chrome over uh, Mr. Rough Silver and Rough Gold. So you want to see what that looks like. So that's another test. That's the next one coming up. For my Patreon channel, little uh, shameless plug for my Patreon channel. That's what it is for. Let me get these out of the way and show you the new colors I am working on. Now I uh, I wanted to. Here's what here's what happened. Here's what stemmed from this beautiful blue I ended up discovering. Um, I'm trying to come up with a dual paint where it works for two reasons. You get an awesome color, and then it also worked as candy uh, a candy surface. So, I got this uh, this brass or gold. This is my red. I experimented, and I actually kind of like it. And um, these are urethanes, all of them. They're very durable, but the reason why it's a urethane is anything can go on top. Acrylic, a lacquer, an enamel, anything can go on top of these. Anything. And they're really durable. They're uh, auto-grade. So, check this out. This is... To me, a clear red over this. See it? So it looks like it's over chrome anyway. So without having, the, you know, we're eliminating the entire steps of laying a chrome down to make a candy. The reflective silver bits that they put in here for me actually will give us that reflection we're looking for. Here's one of the greens I've come up with. Let me show you more. See it? So on top of this, I sprayed the green, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So it's got enough silver or sparkle in them to give you uh, a nice candy look. But if you don't want a candy look, you end up with this nice uh, metal-looking uh, colors. Uh, where's the... 
Hold on, guys. I got one over here. All right. Here is that brass or copper, whatever this is. I don't even know what this is yet. But I sprayed the orange on top of it. Look at what I got with this orange on top. So, um, yeah, you don't really need a chrome to get this beautiful look. So, a dual-purpose paint. I mean, this alone is beautiful. See it? This alone is beautiful. So, then, you spray this on top. You got, you know, it works uh, multi-purpose. So, that's what ended up happening um, here's that, I don't know what this is, is it copper? I gotta look it up. I gotta check the pigments. They sent me uh, a base paint and a bunch of pigments, and I'm experimenting with what I came up with. But in doing so, I ended up blending this, and I got a deep blue chromish, kind of like the popular new prism black, blue, blue black from uh, Gaia, and ended up with this. Look at this. So uh, this is the sample, and I got the formula written down. Um, it's going to be in a bigger jar. I'm going to end up selling these, I believe, in a two ounce. I'm trying to give you guys a value here for the dollar. And these are giant compared to, where's the Gaia one? Here's the Gaia. So look how much more. And um, But look at that color. So, yeah, I stumbled onto this working on these. These. And uh, I think I'm going to release this first independent of those dual, uh, dual colored candy bases so i think this is going to come out first and probably within a week um there's another hold on i thought i had a purple color here it is dropped this on the floor then i stepped on it well um, i'll cover that up there we go this is more on, on a purple end of things let's see you can probably see yeah can you see it so this is one of the earlier blends i can still make this and i still might end up making this purple but it's kind of close to the blue. But uh, I'm saying purple. It's almost it's indigo or like a black and blue. Almost like a bruise. Right? Yeah, you can see the difference. It's quite... So I might end up doing this. I'm going to spray some colors over this blue and see if it works as one of these uh, candy backers that I'm working on. And if it does... Yeah, look at this. I split this in half. I put gloss down, then I put this candy over half so that's there's the red and there's the red with the candy on it look at it so trying to get value for dollar a dual purpose paint you know and that's what I'm working on it that orange over that copper really awesome but this is gonna end up coming out first this blue for sure and if I do this purplish I think it's gonna be added into this line I just gotta see if I can spray candy on top and if it, if it shows through enough but uh, yeah this is what we're gonna go with I, I, I like this quite a bit, and uh, you can see it in the jar right there. And, uh, yeah, this will be a much bigger jar. It'll be in this, I think I'm going to go this size. Here's my one-ounce jar size, so I might even go with that. And uh, I haven't decided yet. But it will be out probably within a week. And I wanted you guys to see this and see it, like, in person, where I can, you can see me moving it around. So... That is what is happening, and that is what is coming up for the channel. And, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't think there's anything else to, to talk about for now, anyway. Um, but, anyway, if you want to join my Patreon, I'll put a link below. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like I said, we, 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 uh, we aim for two videos a week. We've been doing that for the better part of a couple years. Never a dull moment here. And... Um, that's all. If you have any questions about anything you saw, I'll put links uh, to uh, what I can. I got these at the dollar store, so I put a link to Amazon. It's not going to be that cheap. Um, but if you don't have a dollar store near you, then maybe this is the way to go. Um, but I, I'll put that up. I know I got a link for these. I got these on Amazon. So I'll put these Kim Techs up, and uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, there's several options for these. So once you get to the link, you, you can choose the ones you want. Anyway, guys, that is it. We will probably see you again very soon, maybe over the weekend with another video and uh, I got a restock coming uh, I think very soon of my 2k black my 2k uh, gloss clear all of my uh, neon um, panel liners have been out of stock they'll be in stock very soon less than a week and then this will also I hope will ship with them so I'm hoping within a week this paint will be out and if it is I will do a video for this and uh, we'll go over this and for its for its big release and I gotta come up with a name for it I'm thinking uh, black and blue, too, because I have a black and blue one. But look at that. Isn't that awesome?
So, anyway, very excited that this stumbled uh, right in my lap. And we're going to go ahead and release it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I will see you very soon, the next video. I'm babbling on here. Um, but please, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get our numbers up. And, uh, yeah, you guys have been absolutely the best subscribers. I try to answer every one of your questions. I truly do. But you guys are so awesome. Uh, God bless you all. Um, you really uh, you really make my day. And um, that is it for now. We will, of course, see you in the next video.